Howdy mates, good afternoon. This is my second video log for today. I figured since just coming from the Prairie Road Fen, I decided to go to the Cedar Bog Nature Preserve near the town of Urbana, Ohio. And here's one thing. Bog is not the same thing as a fen. And the thing is, Cedar Bog, it's, this area really is not a bog. It's actually a fen. Because, I don't think you can really see it right now because of the snow cover. But the water is a bit more clear. And the soil, also known as the marl, is very alkaline. So, and it's actually made up of the calcium carbonate. The same... A compound or a chemical composition that makes up limestone. Unlike with a bog, the water is much more acidic because it has certain uh, components such as the tannin acid and the water is a bit more stagnant in a bog. And another indicator to know if you're looking at a bog is you'll see a bunch of sphagnum moss which usually like floats along the top unlike here you don't see any of that so what we're looking at essentially is something known as a sedge meadow and the clues in the name so a lot of these grasses that you, well grasses excuse me a lot of these sedges that you see like those brownish projections those are all sedges and a common phrase to remember is sedges have edges. They typically, along the stem, have a triangular-like shape to them. And the cedar bog preserve hosts many rare sedges that you wouldn't find throughout the state of Ohio. And along with that, beside me, here, is your famed northern white cedar. I've pointed this tree out in the past at Clifton Gorge State Nature Preserve. And what's actually fascinating about Cedar Bog Nature Preserve is the fact that this is the only sedge meadow in the state of Ohio that hosts these types of trees. You know, normally these types of trees you would find uh, a bit further up north, especially going into Canada. But yeah, what's neat is management is commonly done here. So, for instance, you kind of see like those browse lines, like towards the bottom of the tree. Those are typically from your white tailed deers. They like to eat some of the uh, food or the cones that is produced from the northern white cedar. They like having them, and they especially like having them this time of the year because food is a bit more scarce. However, though, in this sedge meadow that's ahead of me, common maintenance is usually done. I mean, besides these trees that are here, uh, commonly uh, any growing woody vegetation is usually removed. Yeah, here just tells you about the rich sedge meadow. Gives you like a little bit of an interpretation. I mean, these are some of the most important habitats in the state of Ohio because they host many plants that are either threatened or endangered. Yeah, like for instance, you have the showy lady slipper orchid. And usually, since the water... The groundwater maintains a relatively constant temperature of 55 degrees Fahrenheit. Usually once it gets a little warmer, like throughout the spring and summer, it usually takes a little longer for some of the plants to grow because you figure this is a much more colder environment than most others. So usually you'll see good vegetation as it approaches June or July. And here, it actually tells you a bit of the difference of a bog. 
yeah, like with a bog, you'll have peat commonly in the water. And that's what kind of creates that uh, acidic brownish water. However, here, well, if the snow wasn't covering it, it's usually very clear to see. But yeah, yeah it just tells you how the name has been commonly mistaken for many years. Even though this area technically is a fen. But yeah, see some of that woody vegetation there? That's some of your, like, dogwood and buckthorn. And when I was actually at Prairie Road earlier this morning and afternoon, that was something we were working on. We were working on removing some of that woody vegetation. Because if there's too much of it, that will cause some of those rare plants that I was pointing out to not exist anymore. Because they require a decent amount of sunlight in order to survive. But yeah, it's a neat area. And here is the last sign. It kind of tells you about the uh, permaculture that's here. So the muck and marrow and below that is your gravel. But yeah, and that's how they test for it. And yeah, I don't think it's out here, but I've seen a rod in the past out here before. But yeah, truly a remarkable preserve. There's really no other places like it. So yeah, as I was mentioning, like with the water maintaining a relatively constant temperature throughout the year, right now it actually may seem very warm. So we gotta protect our fens because they are basically a type of wetland that helps filter out any pollutants in the area, even though fens are actually very delicate, they're sensitive. But it's just crazy to think back in the day uh, when they were constructing the State Route 68, they this they were actually thinking of having uh, 68 run through here, and so. Some of the activists made sure that this place would be protected. So, all right. I thought I would share that with you guys. I hope you learned something in the video. These are some of our most valuable ecosystems. You can't get rid of them. So, all right. Hope all of you enjoy your Saturday. And Journey on a Journey is out. Take care, folks.